you can't hold him, you can't do anything, he's just screaming, you just feel so helpless. Like he's actually getting her hair cut and coloured. So yes, I have my hair done. Disclaimer. He just wrecked the show. I'm really interested because I've never really seen like a, a TV set of oh. all the bits and pieces, all the trucks, all of their filming stuff. out the caravan and I've got to this drawer and look what I have found. Excuse me. What's happened? Come on. What are you doing in there? Oh my goodness. Come on. Stay coming out. Come on. Come on. You helping dad in there? That's a good job Leo. So guys, Mary is doing homeschooling in the background. She's doing her book review. Harvey is on the bed up the back there. He's doing maths online. And Coda's just watching a little something. And Lily is helping me clean up the caravan. Now that I'm home and I know what things that we haven't been using inside the caravan, I can get rid of, which I am so happy about. I've got like life jackets that we didn't really use because we didn't sort of go in any water that they were really needed, so I'm getting rid of those. We had cloth nappies. I don't need a basket that big of cloth nappies, so I'm getting rid of those. I'm gonna put them in the garage. I won't get rid of them like as such because they are quite expensive. Believe it or not, they did come in handy on the odd occasion when we were in Tasmania. We had to put some on Lily just to get us through to the shops the next day and stuff when we we're free camping. So I will keep like one or two handy inside the caravan, but I can get rid of this big basket. There's the life jacket. There's another life jacket under our bed and there's a few other things that I can get rid of under the main bed there. There's bags and baskets of toys, which I think is overkill. Like it's good to have toys for the kids, but they tend to just play with the same kind of stuff. So we have all this stuff in here, dinosaurs. Dinosaur, you're so clever, Baba. Wow. Dinosaur, and you're so clever, you can even say it with a dummy in your mouth. Coda had a really rough night last night. On the odd occasion, he has like his night tremors. I'm not sure if we've already spoken about it. You can't hold him, you can't do anything. He's just screaming and crying. I have read that toddlers his age sometimes get night terrors, and it's when they sort of get into their deep sleep. And yeah, they wake up and, oh, it's so... You don't know what to do, like you try and cuddle him, he doesn't want that, he doesn't want drinks, he doesn't want anything. Like I'm not sure what triggered him off last night, but something definitely did. He, I think he did it like he had one major episode when we were away in Tasmania. And yeah, it was, it, it, you just feel so helpless, like you don't know really what to do. If any of you guys have children that have experienced this or you are going through this, can you please let me know because I would love to find out what you guys do when it happens like last night i was i finally finally got him to settle after he woke up everyone lily was crying because she was like scared of what was happening i finally got him to settle in bed with me and then of course being a, such a small bed and lily's already in there we i transferred him to his bed and he was all right for about an hour and then he woke up again and it started so i've cleaned out inside this cupboard here i folded all the girls clothes hung things up Folded towel sheet and I've got toys down the bottom. There's a basket there for Lily and Coda. So Mary's holding Lily just while I put the last little bits and pieces away in these cupboards. I've still got so much to do. It never ends, does it guys? This is what I'm doing today. Ruth's actually getting her hair cut and coloured and I'm sure she will look amazing when she gets home. It's really nice to give her that chance. You know, we've been traveling for three months straight in a caravan. And I think it's good for her to have a little bit of, you know, girly time and make herself look even more beautiful. Big points there for me. Hey, Mary. Yeah. So anyway, I'm looking for lunch. What we're going to have. Might have a toasted sandwich or something like that. I'm not sure what we're going to put on them. I have falafel balls, so we might try that. Hey, Lil. You are so tired. You're almost falling asleep on me, which... Isn't the best because she's eating, but... And Coda's out here with Bra. 
and I'm just gonna get some lunch quickly sorted for these guys and then we can get back into the work. Bill, you love the new toys, don't you? Oh. Hey? Oops. Tilly. Lucky. 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 Bip the horn. Lucky. Can you bip the horn? Leo, can you bip the horn? Look, Coda's on his one and Lily's in her one. Are you on the big boy mower? You fixing that? Leo, you got your mower? You got your one? Yeah. And you got your bike back out. And your slide. And I've got the washing hung out, but it just it never dries here. It's so humid, like it's it's not that humid today, but enough to just make drying clothes very difficult. Probably gonna have to do a run to the uh, laundry mat and put them in the dryer, but that's the last thing on my agenda today. Excuse me, you're gonna fall out of there doing that. Hey, excuse me. Yeah, make sure you do a good job. There's Kaz down there. You playing with Ringo and Nanny? Nanny's all embarrassed. She's got a green tea and she's made me a coffee. Hey Codes, good to have Nanny back. Hey? <laughs> well, it's very good to have you all back. Hi Lil, I didn't miss you. And now you've got all that beautiful red hair. You got your Nanny back now? <laughs> So I just got the call, Ruth's hair is finished and it's about time, it's 2.30. She started at 11.30 uh, and it's now 2.30. So all you girls know it takes a long time to do your hair and do it properly. Cody, are we going to get mum? Yeah, we're going to get mum. So guys, I just got back from picking Ruth up from the hairdressers. I feel so different having my hair done, my lashes and yeah, I just feel very, very different. Well, you've earned it, haven't you? It's been a while since you've pampered yourself. I and feel, do you like it? Yeah, I think it looks amazing. It's all happening, but I also have this amazing salad. Look at this. This is my lunch, and it's huge, I know, but it's mostly green, so. It's all salad, guys. It's all salad and um, a bit of cashew cheese. And Coda wants some milk, but it's actually it up. coconut water. So, yeah, feel mm. good. It's nice to be pampered and just, you know, feel... Good. Amazing. Yeah. You look amazing. So Harvey's just got back from being up at the house and what have you brought back? I've brought back some mandarins. Let me see. Oh look at this guys. Now in a previous vlog we have mentioned about our yummy mandarins that are on the tree at winter time. And these are the ones guys. These are the most tastiest mandarins you could possibly eat. The ones at the shop don't even come close to comparing to these. Is that right, Mary? Yep, 100%. Therefore, mandarins are actually my favorite fruit. Yeah. And I think it's a mixture of the taste and also the... They're so juicy and they're not dry and like... Yeah, but also they are all over the tree around my birthday time. <laughs> <laughs> and Mary's found an old bag of stuff in the garage. Yeah, yeah. stuff there. that Lily would actually like. And Wow, where am I going to put all this stuff? I've just started cleaning out the caravan. I'll go through it. So as you guys know, I've been cleaning out the caravan today just to try and make more room. But the problem is, these guys keep bringing back more stuff. And I'm not sure where we're going to put it. So yes. I have my hair done, I got my eyelashes done yesterday, I got my eyebrows done, I feel like a new person. It's been so long since I've had all of these things done, these girly things done, and I do feel a lot better. I'm looking forward to maintaining this while we're at home, but I know that eventually we'll be traveling again, and it'll probably just all become back to natural again. But I really do like to get my hair done. I just got foils, so it's just, you know, some blonde foils. And yesterday I got my lashes done this place previously and she's really good at what she does. So as you guys know, I am trying to eat healthy. I'm trying to lose weight and I'm trying to, you know, fix the whole appearance. I'm on the road to pre-baby comeback, I guess you could say. And I am looking forward to documenting that journey with you guys on my personal channel, The Well Nourished Mama. I'm going to talk about all things positivity, all things health, um, just mum stuff really. If you haven't already subscribed, head over there. Okay guys, we just pulled up at Brunswick where we've come down for a coffee and just have a bit of an afternoon out. And I'm excited because I just realised, well Blaine actually pointed out, 
they're filming a new TV, TV show series. here. They're filming a TV series here in Brunswick, our local like yeah, place to come. Coda's eating some raw yeah. vegan cake and he can't like it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we came down here and they're filming, so I want to go check it out. You want to come? Let's go check it out. Sea Change, the the show Sea Change, and this is the Pearl Bay. So let's go check it out. It's not really Pearl Bay, guys. It's Brunswick. Disclaimer: He just wrecked the show. It is real. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go have a look and see um, see what they're doing down there. I'm really interested because I've never really seen like a a TV set or anything like that. So it'd be cool to have a look at it. Ready? Let's go. Mary, what's that chocolate cake like? It's pretty good. Looks it's, delicious. It's quite rich, but that's alright because we're all going to share it. Yep. It's pecan caramel. It looks amazing. Yeah. Alright, let's go for a walk. So Blaine's eating the rest of the cake. What do you think? Oh, Have I you tried it? I haven't even tried it yet. It's so good. I can't, I can't even get me four people. <laughs> that's all the bits and pieces. All the trucks full of their filming stuff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you found? Hey, what is that prehistoric bone? Yeah, I was gonna say like a um, dinosaur bone, bone or something. Hey, you, I can see you in there. Big boo. Uh oh, Lily's blankie. That could have been really sad, couldn't it, Mum? Yeah, Mary has a funny story about blankies. We, she had a blankie that we took all over Europe, everything, when she was about Lily's age, or she was just before she was 12 months old. And, and then, one, and she still has that same blankie. And then also one time, I, um, I forgot how it happened, I think I put it in... Exactly like that. My, yeah. It happened like that, she le left it at Dreamworld. Oh no, we've lost it, it's like gone forever, this this amazing blankie that she's taken everywhere and guess Which what? one was that? The pink one? The pink and the, the blue one. Oh, yeah. And then someone returned it to the lost property and we were able to pick it up and she still has it to this day. Yep. Also, what about this blankie here? We went to the shopping center and oh, it was a massive God. shopping center. Yep. And it was dropped and two people happened to walk through at some random time and pick it up. And it was my parents <laughs> yeah, that we, we didn't, didn't even, even know, know they were there. at the shopping centre and my mum knew that this was her blankie and she didn't even know we were there and she rang me and said, are you at the shopping centre? And I said, yes. And she said, I have Lily's blankie. And we thought, what are the chances of that? That was crazy. That was I want to hear, I want to hear any of your stories about lost blankies, lost minkies, whatever, the things that your children have lost in the past. I also had and found again. That, which was like a pink one like this, but the head came off it so. oh, but wow. I still have the head separately and the blankie so we're gonna end the vlog give the video a like if you did enjoy it subscribe if you haven't already and until next time don't forget to live love and respect bye bye, bye. Oh. Oh.